how to make a free blog website on blogger.com. Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can create your very own blog website in Blogger. So let's get into it. So over here, as you can see, I'm on the main website called blogger.com. And this is how the website looks like. Now, signing up is very easy. The process literally takes a few seconds. If you are logged in into your Google account, all you would need to do is just simply click on create your blog or just simply click on sign in and it will ask you to sign in with your Google account. So if I click on create your first blog, it's asking me to sign in with my Google account. And all I would need to do is just simply click on my Google account and sign in. So give me a couple of seconds. And then once you've done that, you are good to go. After that, you'll be taken over to the dashboard where you can start creating your blogs. So over here, as you can see on the left hand side, you have all your main options. So starting at the top, you have your posts and over here is where you can create a blog. So over here, as you can see, I've already created two ones, but we'll get to that later. Down below, you can create your posts within that blog website. And then you have your stats, comments, earnings, pages, layouts, theme, settings. And everything is very simple, very basic. You don't need to configure a lot of stuff. Although you would need to go into earnings and over here, create an AdSense account, which is very simple to do so. I'll show you that later. And then down below is the pages where you will see all the pages of your blogs. Then you have your layout where you can customize the layout of your blog. So over here, it's very simple. Search at the top, header, page list, and then ads. They come in between each of these different sections. And over here on the left-hand side, this is the sidebar. You can add different widgets over here by just simply clicking on them. And you can even drag and drop them to, you know, come over here into the main search area so you can go ahead and do that then you have the theme section and over here you can create different themes and over here you can choose different themes so right now this is my theme the contempo light it's actually very simple and very easy to use over here you can restore it to the default version then you have your first generation you can switch to the classic theme over here edit in html and down below you can find all the other ones as well you can go ahead and select whichever one you want it all depends on you for me i really like the light version of it it's simple it's easy uh, there's also simple blog websites like these ones but they look a little bit outdated but you know that's just my personal opinion you can go ahead and select whichever one you want so since we already have the theme that we want which is this one uh, we can go ahead and click on customize to actually go ahead and customize the theme. This is going to be the background image over here. So this is how it will look like when you have your blog. So over here is going to be the name. Then within it is going to be your main stuff. But as you can see, we haven't added that yet. We can do that later. And then over here are your archives and labels and your main color. So over here is the background image. You don't have a lot of customization options, just very simple ones. You can change the image over here. Then you have your advanced settings over here where you can select, you know, page text, backgrounds, links, go title, and then you can edit that over here. Right now we are selecting the page text and we can go ahead and change some of these uh, fonts over here. So go ahead and do that. It depends on you how you want to do it but yeah oswald looks really good so we can go ahead and select that and then down below you have your you know transparency colors or the colors of your text you can select whichever one you want uh but yeah you can select the background and over here you can make the background bigger or smaller you can see right here you have the transparent image over here post background and body background so you can go ahead and select that one you have your link so you can add different links in it and you can select and you can change the different colors of it so over here you have the general link color you can select whichever one you want by clicking on the palette right here so let's say we select uh purple is going to be the you know actually let's make it uh blue blue is going to be the main color of the links and then visited links are going to be highlighted as purple and then link hover color can be you know a little bit darker blue and i think that would look good so you can go ahead and turn that on by just simply pressing over the button and since there's no links right here we can't view them but we can check them out later next is the blog title and this is the main one so as you can see it highlighted over here so you guys can see it you can change the font of it make it bigger uh let's go ahead and go with an impact form uh but it looks way too big or bold so we'll just you know go with the simpler version like that and you can even increase the size of it as well so if you wanted to you could go with a let's say 55 pixels per x 
there you go 55 pixels that looks good and then you have the transparency color and the background icon color as well if you want to add that so yeah as i said before you have some customization options but you, there's not a whole lot so it's very simple very standard stuff so you won't get confused or overwhelmed with that so you just simply go ahead and select which one you want next up we have the gadgets so not a whole lot of gadgets over here but you can go ahead and add them right here such as about me pages uh blog archives labels as well so if you have some different you know blogs you can label each blog and they'll be appearing over here so as you can see it's turned on right now let's say we turn on feature posts as well so you can go ahead and turn it on so feature posts are going to be appearing over here and let's say popular posts where are popular posts it'll display a list of popular posts but i think it'll come over here but uh or maybe it could pop up over here but we don't have that right now because this is a very very new website so uh, we don't have enough data to make a popular post but you can turn it on later and check it out later you know once you're done once it's done and once you have customized your blog all you have to do is click on the save button right here and save it as you can see the saves are you know saved and changes have been made you can go ahead and exit it and now all that's left for you to do is start creating new posts within your blog so over here you just simply hit the new post button and you can create a new post wait for it to load up and there you go now all you have to do is just write your post and make your blog and also if you wanted to create a new blog all you would have to do is just select it over here and down here you can click on a new blog and you can go ahead and create a new blog so i'm going to go ahead and write post and actually create a new blog as well so as you can see i have done it this is the name i chose and then right here is the url you can add whatever url you want but i went with this one after that we'll save it and this will allow us to create our new blog and now we can create new post in it so if i click on new post uh, i can go ahead and add an entire blog and i can start writing it okay so i just copied this and now i'm just simply going to make a few adjustments like for this one i'm going to make it in the center since this is the title and i'm going to choose like a heading this is the major heading actually so i'll go with the major heading like so and we can go ahead and choose a different font so let's just go with this one and then what you can do is you can change up a little bit so since this is a paragraph we can go with a paragraph like it so and since this is a you know subheading we'll choose subheading and again choose the font and then this is the subheading or minor heading We'll do that and again choose the font and for this one we'll go with numbers like so and yeah i think this looks good so we can do this for the rest of the headings and subheadings and minor headings and then we will have our blog and we can add different images to it as well as you can see you can go with blogger or you can go with by url or photos or you can upload them from your computer even with videos and emojis and all of that and once that's done all you have to do is just simply go ahead and click on publish and you are good to go and that is how you do it that is how you create your own blogging website in blogger so now if we go ahead and click on preview it'll take us to that blog and this is how it would look like and as i said before you can go ahead and change the headings change add pictures change the background and all of that so you should be good to go so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye